I am making my raspberry rose filled donuts. To get started, I'm gonna make my dough. I'm gonna grab a quarter cup of warm water and then I'll combine it with some milk that I have heating up here to about 105 to 110 degrees. That is the optimum temperature for getting yeast to proof. And then I'll add a packet of dry active yeast and then a teaspoon of sugar will help the yeast proof. I'll swirl this around and then I'm gonna let it sit for about five minutes until it gets foamy on top. And then that's how I know that the yeast is activated. Meanwhile, I'll combine my dry ingredients. I'll add three and a half cups of flour to the bowl of my stand mixer. And then I'll also add a quarter cup of sugar. And then I'll add one teaspoon of kosher salt. And I'm gonna flavor this dough with a half a teaspoon of cinnamon, a quarter teaspoon of ground cardamom, and now I'm gonna add the zest of half an orange. And the cardamom and the orange and the cinnamon together just scream the holidays. Neat. That'll do. And now I'm gonna mix up my eggs. I'm gonna use one large egg and two egg yolks, which will make this dough extra rich. And now I'm gonna add one teaspoon of vanilla. I'll give this a little mix. Now I'm gonna combine my flour mixture, my egg mixture, and my yeast mixture. As you can see, it's gotten nice and foamy. Once this comes together into a stiff dough, I'm gonna start to add some softened butter. I'm gonna add six tablespoons of butter, one tablespoon at a time, letting it get mostly incorporated before I add each tablespoon. And this is gonna make the dough so moist and good. This is a super model dough. It is gorgeous. Okay, I think this dough is ready. I'm gonna form it into a ball, and then I'm gonna let it rise. I'll grab a clean bowl. I'm gonna coat the bowl with oil so that the dough doesn't stick. And I'll add the dough face down so I can zhuzh it around in the oil so that the whole ball of dough is coated. And then I'll flip it over, and now I'm gonna cover it with plastic wrap. So now this is gonna rise in the refrigerator for eight hours. I've got my buttery donut dough that I made earlier, and I'm gonna turn it out onto my surface. I'll dust it with a little flour, and then I'll roll it out to a half inch thick. And now I'm gonna cut out two and a half inch circles using my biscuit cutter. I've lined this with parchment so that the dough doesn't stick. Now these are gonna rise for another hour or so until they've doubled in size. I'll just add my raspberry jam to my bowl. And now I'm gonna add a splash of rose water, just a little bit, will give me that floral note that I love. And now I'll just mix it until it's combined. And I'll pour it in. Okay, I'm ready to fry my donuts. These donuts are perfectly puffy, they are ready to fry. I've got some oil heating up in my pot. It's heating up to 350 degrees and it's a few inches of oil. And I always like heating in cast iron because it holds the heat really well. And now I'm gonna fry my donuts in batches for about a minute and a half on each side until golden. I'll gently lower these in. And I can already see that the bottoms are starting to turn golden. I'm gonna transfer them to a wire rack so that any excess oil can drip off. And then I'm gonna spread a little bit of my glaze right on top. I'll go almost to the edge. First I'm gonna grab a long pointy knife so that I can get a hole in the top, just to make space for the jam. And I like filling my donuts from the top down. I love the way it looks and it also holds the jam. And now I'll grab my piping bag and fill the hole with my raspberry rose filling. And now I'm gonna sprinkle on some dried rose petals. These will add an extra special little touch on top. I'll stick these right on. 